Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Well, another video today. So we're going to go over Donald Trump's map based off the approval rating polls and the approval rating polls alone and not factoring in any other factors such as the 2016 general election results. And we're going to fill in states respectively with safe, medium, and solid. Um, actually, no, solid, medium, and light red and um, light, medium, and solid blue. So we're going to go through all the safe Democratic states. So we look in a state like Wisconsin that... Um, Washington, sorry, and Oregon and California. These are all safe Democratic states, um, especially with the approval rating polls. And we look in states like Hawaii, um, New Mexico and Colorado would be considered safe blue. If we look in states like Minnesota, <coughs> sorry, in Wisconsin, in Michigan, these are all safe blue states. Pennsylvania included. Donald Trump's approval rating in Ohio is 47%, so you could say that one is leaning Democratic. In, um, of course, all the solid blue states, we're going to leave that one, those in the Democratic column. In the state of Virginia, that was an interesting case. His approval rating is higher in Virginia than it is in um, Wisconsin. So that's interesting. His approval rating is 39% in Virginia, so I would consider that one safe blue. In the state of Maine, his approval rating is 42%. Um, so that one could be can make it safe blue. And just looking at the map, the Democrats already have 250 safe electoral votes. And we have to factor in um, Illinois, which puts them right at that 270 that they need to win. And we're going to keep going through this map. So Donald Trump's approval rating in the state of Indiana, 47%, leaning blue. We know it's probably not going to happen, but this is just based off the current approval ratings. Iowa, 45%, leaning blue. Um... We look in a state like Missouri, another state leaning blue. Um, you know, Kentucky, 53%, so you could say that one is leaning red. Um, you know, Tennessee, 52% leaning red. Arkansas, 53% leaning red. Illinois, um, Louisiana, 51% leaning red. Um, Alabama, I would consider that one medium red at 55%. Mississippi has a 48% approval rate. We know it won't turn blue, but just based off the map we see now, that one would be considered. I would consider it as safe, um, not safe, but leaning blue, just based off that, if you add the vote totals against him. Um, West Virginia, 60% approval rating, safe red. Um, North Carolina, 42% approval rating, so I would say that one is around fifth, um, semi-blue. The District of Columbia is not even a competition. But South Carolina, I would leave one leaning red with a 50% approval rating. Um, Georgia, 43% approval rating, I would consider that one mildly blue. In Florida, 42% approval rating. That one would also be mildly blue. And right now, we're going to keep going off into the West, and we'll see what happens. So in North Dakota, he has a 59% approval rating, solid red. South Dakota, solid red, 57% approval rating. Nebraska, that one would be leaning red. Interesting case. They have a 52% approval rating. Kansas, also leaning red, 53% approval rating. Oklahoma has a 54% approval rating, making it semi-red. Um, Wyoming, I would consider that one safe. Red has 53%. In Montana, 53%, 56%. Sorry, in Wyoming, 56%. In Idaho, it's 53%. So I'm actually going to leave that one in the soft, the slight red part. And you know, 55% and up, I would normally consider. Um, I would just put it at like 54 to 55. I would consider semi. Anything above 55%, I would leave in solid. Utah would be light red at a 50% approval rating. In Arizona, that one would she, he has a forty-two percent approval rating there. That would be enough to make it semi-democratic. I know it's probably not going to happen, but just all three approval ratings alone. In Nevada, inter, an interesting case here. Donald Trump's approval rating is higher than it is in Arizona. For this special case here, I'm going to leave this one as um. Actually, I'm going to leave this one as, you know, semi-blue. Um, right now, Arizona and Nevada are pretty much in the same category. In Alaska, he is lightly approved with 51% approving of, approving of him. And here's the shocker, the state of Texas. Um, some of you may be wondering why I wasn't, I didn't fill in Texas yet. Well, here's the thing. Donald Trump's approval rating is lower in the state of Texas than, than it is in Arizona, Nevada, um, parts of Wisconsin, you know, the red, redder parts, in Ohio, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Georgia, South Carolina, Mississippi, um, all states that I've already filled in as blue right now and Donald Trump's approval rating in June in New Hampshire was higher than it is in Texas and right now it's gotten even lower so according to this rating right here Texas should be considered safe blue more over than Nevada 
we know that this is probably not going to happen, but it's just the fact that the approval rating polls are showing this as an indication of what could happen if the Democratic candidate played every single one of his or her cards right, which is probably not going to happen because no candidate in history has ever played all of their cards right except for Ronald Reagan. And this is what I think would be, um, I, this is just a representation of the approval ratings um, shaded in with light for, light red for leaning Trump, with, let's say like 52% or 50%. Um, Semi-red is 44, 54% approve to 55% approve, and solid red is 56% and up. As for the Democratic Party, anything really below um, 42% is considered safe blue, or 42% itself could be considered safe blue. And um, semi-blue is really just 43% to 46%, and 47% and up, up until 49% is considered light blue. So the interesting thing we should notice here, states like Idaho, Utah, Nebraska, Kansas, Arkansas, Louisiana, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Alaska are either blue or they're considered um, slightly red. None of these on this on the screen you see that are light red are going to be heavy Trump states according to the approval rating polls. Now we know they're probably going to be wrong and we probably think that this is just an um, indication of the country going against them for the small time being, but it's just interesting to see this map up close, seeing the shaded regions and just understanding the full intensity of these approval rating polls and how much Donald Trump is disapproved ac across the country. Thank you guys for watching this video, um, and I'll see you all tomorrow.